racket testing for Sebastian. Yuri is going to continue with me next year. Dennis and his friend. The year is coming to an end. We all met up in Vienna. Short, cold days outside. A lot of tennis at our facility indoors. It was nice to see Sam Weisborn again. We know each other already for a long time and he's definitely a character. But he had a very good year in doubles by reaching the final in Monte Carlo and climbing into the top 50s in the ATP doubles ranking. He moved with his family to Linz, so he's not coming to Vienna that often. He was visiting us for two days and with my partner Ivan we had some practices together. Hopefully he will be able to establish himself in the top 50 next year. Sebastian made two points on his last trip this year in Tunisia. In total he made 41 points this year. He accomplished a ranking around 690 in singles. Our goal to reach a ranking around 500 was not achieved. It has been a very instructive year for Sebastian, so if I look back, I'm actually surprised that we made it there. Honestly, many weeks, I believe the outcome could have been better, so we will try to step up next year. This week, Sebastian was testing rackets. We felt like there's room to find a more favorable racket for his game style and we did. Florian Sickinger from HET was very supportive and even helping us on court to give some insights concerning the racket. The practices with Yuri Rodionov went very constructive and I felt that he started to get a feeling for the way I would see him on the court. Of course, it will need some more time to give a better judgment, but the steps are going into the right direction. As said in my last video, we did a tryout in December and since the time we spent together was better than we both expected, we decided to work together in the upcoming year. Basically, I will be responsible for the practice in Vienna and in general for the content of the training units. When I'm not here, my partner Ivan will work with him and for the tournament coaching we have Richie Waid, a coach from Germany who already traveled with Yuri in the past. Florian Bernhaupt will continue with Yuri for the fitness part, so I believe all together we have a good team. Another decision we had to make was whether Yuri will go to Melbourne to play the qualies at the Australian Open. It is always difficult to skip a slam, but we decided for several reasons to prolong the preseason and Yuri should start later on in January with his tournaments. Dennis had a good practice week as well and a friend from Germany joined us for two days. His name is Lukas Engelhardt. He's going to finish US college next year and after that he will decide whether he will go for professional tennis or if he will pursue a different career. Since he's a smart guy, he will have several options. On the other hand, he might regret one day not giving a tennis career at least a shot. Twenty twenty three is history, especially in tennis when you are basically living from week to week, time seems to fly. My start into the new year will take me to another place outside of Europe. More to that in my next video. I hope to see you there again.